any of the orbs that we have been working with have been interiors. Actually, when you get right down to it, they're just mathematics. However, they appear as interiors. Cellars, dungeons, what have you. This orb, as you look at it, you'll notice it appears to be outdoors, a kind of desert mountain scene. This is made using a thing called a skybox. We have an object O skybox, which can be used to define and activate a skybox in your orb. Let me show you the basic construction of this, and then we'll go through creating one from scratch. Here we have the domain. Um, you can see that it has a floor texture of ground 77 and a ceiling texture called back. Back basically means ignore the texture and show whatever's behind it. Show the skybox if there's a skybox. If there's no skybox, show the void. So back is pretty much like an open window. In the walls, the walls have a mid texture of back as well. That's because we want the skybox to show through those. Then if we go to objects, we will see a special object called O Skybox. Now the O Skybox has a couple of things to pay attention to. One, the effect parameter you'll notice up here, the effect parameter is one. That tells the engine that this skybox is to be used as the um, initial skybox. You can have more than one skybox. This tells the engine, make me the beginning skybox. In the auxiliary, we have an effect target, in this case of SB5. Now let me show you what that SB5 relates to. If we look at our BMP scanner, we'll see SB5 bot for bottom, front, left, right, back. I don't know if you're seeing those white flashes. That happens to be an artifact, um, not so much of the God engine as this recording program I'm using. So you'll notice that we have these six textures. They all begin with SB5, and then they have back, bot, front, left, right, top. Then there's an SB6, back, bot, left, front, right, etc. All of the skyboxes have the same back, bot, front, left, right, top with some three character prefix. This is how we define the skyboxes. And actually we need that to be blank. So in here you'll see the first three characters of the skybox. Off to the side we have another skybox. This has an auxiliary of SB6 which is a different skybox. You'll notice its effect parameter is zero which says don't use me first use the other one first and it has a tag of 100 in the orb we have this tree which is an O tag SW and it puts out a tag of 100 so if we go back to the orb and walk up to this tree and activate it it changes the skybox So there you have the fundamentals of establishing a skybox and even how you can change it in the, uh, as a result of action in your orb. So let's make one real quick. I'm going to click New for New Orb. First thing we do is make a domain. Click Add. I'm going to make it a little bit higher. The top, we'll make that back. Floor, um, what was that? GRND77. 
Yep, that looks good. And that's it. So let's go over to walls. Lay down our first wall. The front is on domain zero, which is correct. Let's make this back. So there's our basic four walls. Let's expand those out, give ourselves some ground to walk around on. We'll go to objects, insert the player. The player down here. And we visit the view just so that the engine will notice that there is no view established and establish one automatically for you. We're done with that. We come back to objects and we make a second object and that's going to be our O skybox. Give it an effect parameter of 1 to start it up. Go into auxiliary and we will call this SP5. We should be good to go. Let's save this as um, Z test. Load it and view it. You will notice that nothing changed. That's an artifact. In order to make it establish itself, you just go back into the editor and load a second time. And here we have a very simple orb with a big domain to walk around on and a nice skybox. You'll notice if we walk to the edge that you can look down and see the ground below. You may want to make barriers so that players can't go over the edge. That's all considerations for design. Right now we're just letting you know how you too can add a skybox to your orb and get yourself outside. All right, that's it. The rest is just putting in trees and um, making a tag in a second skybox. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us, and good luck with your blue lining.